that. I am seriously tripping balls. <laughs> Hello, we're back. So, um, yeah, I think after, after you beat the fountain, the uh, mail toe will just go back, like, go be here from now on, which is convenient. Gives you the um, one-ups right away. You don't have to go back down to where the terrace is. So, nice. So yeah, now we're going through the uh, the kitchen dome, so... Each keeps set and copy pasting these letters, how lazy! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like we said before, the um, only thing you can really find in the, in the hub is the, is the one-up, so... I guess if you want some extra, extra life, you can just get those for free. Also, this is the point in the game where if you are going for like all the stars in the dome before moving on... You can just go to the boss right away! Yeah, it's pretty funny! <laughs> So we're just gonna open up all of these. Yeah, I guess. I don't wanna oh, peaceful. I, I don't wanna open up the uh the boss stage though, because once you do that I think the music changes until you actually beat it. So let's yeah, let's not do that. Um Yeah, so we have oh, quite a few options. Ghostly here. Out um Let's do a beach ball first, that's the first that's the first okay. one. Yeah. Oh boy, top of the penguins. <laughs> yeah, penguins. So like, well, there's like um, static seagulls in the like galaxy image. <laughs> hmm. I think it might have been. I don't know. But this is like um, Honey Hive, where it's more of an open, open level, like 64 and sunshine. So it's um, a bit more open, and all the pingus just having a good time. Yeah, uh, it's swimming. We're friendly penguins. Yes. If you want to ask us about bre- Yeah, pardon me. If you want to ask us about breathing, sorry. Yeah. That that, that, comes, that, 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 comes, that comes with the species. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care what this fee what this theme is like actually called. I just I just dubbed this the, the penguin theme. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty much what it is. It, it plays during like every level where peng penguins are like main like NPCs. So. Why do the penguin? Why are they just called penguins? They don't have like some funny name. I mean, penguins are already amazing, so you don't need to me don't mess with pe perfection. Turtles are amazing too. We still call them Koopa Troopers. Well, sure, but they're like not wrong. Enemy. Not wrong. Well, sure, but they're also like main enemy types in this series, so <laughs> they get a pass. It's like how weirdly wavy this uh, like area is. I don't really get what the dirt Water. is with that. I guess so. Water. <laughs> I guess so. Reminds me of Sunshine's, like, um, bonus level, so to speak. But I'm still not entirely used to having to, like, move the whole pro controller around. Like, you can tell the game wasn't really built for that. Like, obviously this is, like, a really rushed port, so, you know. I mean, it makes sense, like, the, you can only really do so much, but... I mean, what, what, yeah. I mean, what would you do? Yeah, there's not really Keep much Keep it on the Wii. <laughs> I mean, they could've, but then, like, uh, it, it would've been lost to time eventually. <laughs> Which... Yeah, that, that would've been, that would've been a mistake. I still... I mean, Galaxy 2 is still, like, lost to the, um, well, not lost to it, but it's still stuck on the Wii and the Wii U, which... Yeah, that Back in my fixed. day, we didn't have no damn virtual console, we just bought old stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I prefer that if possible, but regardless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it depends on how, I guess we're talking about this now, but uh, it depends <laughs> on what the, um, the, how the NSO, like, evolves over time. Like, if they, what is it, let's say if they, like, keep the the game sets on the on the service for the, ne the next console and they just add to it. I feel like we might be singing a different tune in a few years time, but if they like restart again, then yeah, that's when I'm gonna have some choice words to say. <laughs> no, no Nintendo though. Yeah, I don't have confidence, but yeah, this is like the first level where swimming is like a major factor and it's it works fairly well. I with the exception of Sunshine, I think the underwater controls in 
3D Mario games work fairly well. Um, it, it's funny how Sunshine has the worst because that's like the whole game's deal is like being in a tropical yeah. island and whatnot. But like, if you trying to swim, like going underwater in that game just doesn't work. <laughs> like, it's kind of funny. Fun fact. Fun fact, if you're playing, if, if, since we're not doing it, if you're playing as Luigi, spinning makes you swim faster, but you lose air. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, Luigi. Yeah, it's it. Oh, hi. Um, oh, hi. Yeah, oh, Unagi, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I got a massive redesign. <laughs> yeah. He's not brushing the eel's teeth. Oh, good, yeah. Brush out there every meal, kids. So yeah, this is even more so than Honey Hive. This this level is very much like a 64 and Sunshine stage in the sense. That, well, more more 64 than Sunshine because the level doesn't really change between the the three stars here. It's more you just go to a different place and the general area is pretty much the same. Um, so it's more like 64 than Sunshine, and. I, I do think it's smart that they made it so these these more open areas are a, more, a lot more contained than those levels. Like, these are about the size of like some of 64's smaller levels, if not smaller than that. Um, and I kind of alluded to it in Honey Hive, but the controls, while they are good for what they are in this game, they aren't the free-flowing kind of controls you have in the more open Mario games. Like, you, you don't have the slide, you don't have the cool stuff you can do with Flood, and all this other stuff. So, I feel like having more open areas isn't really Galaxy's strong suit, so I like that they made them a lot more compact, if you will. Hmm. Why are Polari and the baby Luma so shiny compared to the other Lumas? I guess just because- Important oh. NBCs! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, and, and, we, and we got another storybook page, but we'll do that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that at the, at the end of the session. Uh, how do you guys feel about the uh, more open stages? I, because I pretty much said my more or less my piece on them, but... I haven't played they're this game in over a decade, Harry. <laughs> they're condensed yeah. enough that they're not a bother. Yeah, I'd agree with that. After the swimming test, rule number one, don't make the water bluer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, like rule, rule, number two, rule, rule, rule number two, <laughs> Take a, get a big breath. <laughs> yeah. Also, like how the water is just kind of um, going down into, like, sky, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this... And it's gotta go somewhere, so I guess nowhere. <laughs> yeah. This isn't even a galaxy, this is like just a floating planetoid. Yeah, it's just one planet, um, there's like... I think in the first... No there's, a planetoid. Well, there's a planetoid off to the side. Yeah, there's a secret star up there, and then there's Star 3, which goes to a different planet. But... Yeah, most of the time these, uh, open areas are just one big planet. Also, the, this is the worst star because we have to bully penguins. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to steal it. <laughs> Yeah. You have to make someone fail to pass. <laughs> yeah, it's a really easy star, but it's sad, so I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I got beat. No. Haha, <laughs> suckers! Mario has to be a bully. Mario's a bully. He never fights fair. <laughs> Who said I fight fair? <laughs> Committing animal cruelty is kind of in his resume. Yeah, right. You can I mean, see how many times- I know I was playing as Luigi, but you can see how many times I threw off everybody when I'm playing Mario 3D World. Speaking <laughs> like... of which, speaking of which, have fun for that Let's Play. Oh, that- that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they should have, like, had a secret star where if you give the gold shell back to the penguin, they reward that, you. That would be great. <laughs> You're a fucking great, thief, but you didn't pass the test, so no star. I feel like this, day, this star could have been uh, better if they did, like, maybe an obstacle course instead, and if you pass it, you get the star. I, f I feel like... Or maybe three. Yeah. 
Harry, the difficulty was not the actual difficulty was not the point. It was the emotional trauma that you would that you would both endure and incur upon others. That was the real challenge. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, still does it better driving the penguins up the cliffs. I think. Also, I th speaking of uh, secret stars and whatnot, I think this is. The oh boy! I well, oh boy! Yeah. They won't reuse it in Mario Galaxy Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. I, this is. Oh yeah, I'll, ha I'll have some some things to say about that in a minute. But I think this is one of the only galaxies where you can actually get the secret star on any of the stars because it's always going to be on this planet, and you just need to get a shell for it. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe the chest isn't always there, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah. You look closely, there was a crack here. Yes. So this is the star with, like, the actual platform and stuff. Um, the... Hmm. I will say about this, I do think... I do think the swimming is, like, very well done in the Galaxy games, but I still... Ah! Uh? Yes. Talking to his family. Oh, okay. Um, I would say I still think overall, while it's not as polished, I prefer the swimming in 64, for, mainly for the fact that um, it's a lot more. Not, I guess flexible is a way to put it, I don't know, but. Um, but the thing with the 64 sw swimming is the fact that if you time your breaststrokes really well, you can go pretty fast. Um, so. I like that. Like it keeps it keeps you in the game a lot if you want to like go for it at a reasonable pace, and you don't really have that in Galaxy. I think the swimming itself is still fast enough what it is, and you do have the stuff of the shell, so I like that. But in terms of just the regular swimming, I prefer 64 just because of how fast you can you can make it. But yeah, I know we make. I, I know people make. <laughs> I know people make jokes about Galaxy 2 just being an expansion pack of the original game, but I didn't think they actually reuse this entire level architecture. I will say, well, the thing with that is, um, <laughs> may maybe I'll be singing a different tune when we get to that game, but I remember that ended up being like one of the hardest 3D Mario levels just in general because they just sped the, they sped everything up by like, what, 50%? Or like a thousand percent? I don't even know, it's ridiculous, but I die so many times in that level, it's crazy. Yeah, it wasn't an easy level by any means. Yeah. By the way, it, uh, crushing, I forgot if I said this, but crushing is death in this game. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, realistic physics. My greatest enemy. Oh, well, that's where we drive the realism of mine. Tie. Is this, are the Galaxy games the only games that... We almost had a demonstration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, are the Galaxy games the only ones that, like, uh, getting crushed as instant kill? I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's anything like that in Odyssey. No, 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 I think it's an Odyssey too, actually. Oh, it, yeah, I think so. I might, yeah. I'd imagine, given how they emulate the 2D games more, I'd imagine 3D Land and 3D World would just cause an instant death if you got crushed by something. I, I don't know about 3D Land of World. I'm. It might, but I don't know. We'll find we'll, we'll find out when we eventually get to that. I guess so. In four years. I hope not. Um. I hope not, because I'm because I because I want to do multiplayer in that one. Oh. Oh hey, star comment. Yes. Um. Yeah, I. I think. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I swear I remember that like, you just Yo, lose fast um, folk comment. the lose Oh, power it's up, the level we just did, but everything's faster now. <laughs> yeah. It's not as hard. I no forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, it's nowhere near as hard as the Galaxy 2 version of it, but still. Where it's like triple speed. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. it's even more than that. <laughs> it's like bunk, really... bunk. Bunk, yeah, the thing bunk, with, kind of moving around. The, the thing with the uh, fast foe equivalent in Galaxy 2 is the fact that it's not just the enemies that are faster; it's literally everything in the stage that moves. <laughs> yeah, including the including the flaw, including the and the womps and everything over here. Or, Almost or messed womp. up. <laughs> yeah, these. Oh are gosh, the, this uh, arrangement gives me gives me nightmares. Oh yes.
Yeah, so it's basically this stage, but these enemies move even faster, and then these platforms here are just like going ludicrously fast, and it just gives me massive anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can I can see why. Yeah, I like these like. like What's these blocks supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. I like this little like waterfall going through like the black holes. Goes it's a cool effect. Yeah, it's coming like... out of the black hole. That's not how black holes work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but. I I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a mistake, but I think you can if you do this like exactly right, you can skip this whole section. Harry, why? No. Nope. <laughs> I tried. Look at me. And thus and thus he got the better the the better fight, <laughs> I think it was. Yeah. The funny thing, the uh with the black holes, you I've seen it so you you can change the coding so like the black holes actually send you somewhere else in the game. So <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it, seen someone like reprogram it so you go into a black hole and then there's just this really long cut. I guess the game just loading up a new area and it just sends you to Beach Ball Galaxy for no reason. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh great! Like that's more of a wormhole than a black hole. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, no idea how that works, but it's funny. This is more- I, I associate this more with, like, the uh, Cosmic Mario. Oh, gosh. Come on! Yes. Frickin... Little frames. Yeah. Also, um, I think another thing you can do in multiplayer is the- you can use the second star to stop the these platforms from like shrinking. Yeah, which is handy. Wait, you can do that in Galaxy One as well. You might. I don't know. I know you can do it in Galaxy Two. Yeah, Galaxy Two has a uh, Galaxy Two might be a harder game, like pound for pound, but there's enough quality of life improvements that it kind of can be at least a little more palatable. My big head. Yeah, I don't know if they. I don't know if they changed anything to do with the controls. If it, if they did, it's very minute. Like, I know they. Oh, good. I can get away yeah. from the yellow filter. They definitely made the two-player like co-op thing like. Yeah, they actually gave you a player, t an actual player too, instead of a pointer. <laughs> yeah, it can actually help a lot more in, in two. Yeah, you have a character. <laughs> yeah, I I know I mentioned this before, like somewhere, but I know. I, I remember reading like old magazines that talk like back before Galaxy 2 came out and it talked about Luigi like being like an actual co-op character and like there'd be two player co-op in the game that's someone with Mario, some, someone with Luigi and yeah I shouldn't Especially be too surprised there's something like yeah I shouldn't be too surprised that didn't that didn't happen but like I was kind of sad. <laughs> so we're looking for a star for a slinger in a chest, right? Yes. I mean, we wouldn't. It took many, many years to get symmetrical co-op in a 3D Mario game. Yeah, they wanted to have um, have that for a Mario game for a long time. Pretty much since '64, I think. Like they yeah. tried. Yeah. <laughs> for a while, I just thought the 3D Mario team hated Luigi. No, nah, I yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just kind of a. I mean, it's still kind oh, of right cool, but yeah, it, it's basically just down to circumstance because sixty four. Oh, maybe... good. Sorry, cataquax. <laughs> yes, um, the yeah, they wanted him in sixty four, but they couldn't have the the co op thing just didn't work, um, and I don't know if they tried in sunshine, but yeah. But it, Sir, we don't have enough. We do not have the resources for co-op. Can we have Luigi be a secret character? Yeah. Like that is like the probably the worst aspect of Nintendo was kind of minimalist game design. Yeah. If you're not playable, getting kidnapped, handing a power up, or being a boss, you don't exist. Yeah, that's um, I guess the reason why we don't have <laughs> the other like other characters in main Mario games a lot of the time. Oh god, that texture looks so bad. <laughs> yeah. Eh, it looks alright. Let's see. I, it always blows my mind when I remember that the 
Ice Mario wasn't like from the old games because it's it feels like one of those power ups that was always there but it just wasn't. And I always just find that really weird. Like I think technically the first time they appeared was Partners in Time. The I we think were, that sounds right. Yeah, I it might be another there might be a like an obscure game that I'm not thinking of, but this is the first time it appears in, it appeared in a platformer, and New Mario Wii is the first time it appeared in a 2D game, and I, when I, whenever I realize that, it just feels so strange. Like, Whoa! Oh god. Now let's go back. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just... I, I, I can't think of the ice flower like that. Yeah, it's a cool power-up. Surprised to see the ice flower. I'm surprised we got the ice flower before we got the fire flower. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, this is a secret star, but you know. And thankfully, with the cataquacks, they they don't actually damage you once they launch you in the air, unlike sunshine. What's <laughs> up? Now go back to Toronto Beach already. <laughs> it's just kind of chilling. Yeah, you can see. I'm still like mad him. at you for the. I'm still mad at you guys for the freaking watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know those are all reds, but point stands. Yeah, I think a few of them were blue though. Oh, another one. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, well, you guys are gonna have fun with that with your story time I scrapped it tonight. <laughs> Okay, we have this now. And, and we have... Oh, that's Booey Base. Nice. Oh, oh this right. This, is, oh, I, this, one has a, this, this one has a unique theme to it, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, I f I get, yeah, okay. This is an instance of me not remembering everything about the game, because I honestly thought Booey uh, Base was... Um, I thought Booey Base was later. Yeah, I thought that was in the bedroom, but I guess not. <laughs> um... Well, we have two... Let's, uh, let's do, uh, let's do um, Bubble Breeze since we opened that first. Oh okay. gosh, I think I just triggered a, I got memory just got triggered. <laughs> um, what for this level? Yeah. yeah it's this, a kill point, bombs. Yes, th this one, yeah, this one can be fairly tricky. Um, oh, well, I think you can yeah. also skip a good portion of it if you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think so. I don't know how you do that, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> By the way, they're marooned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are maroons. <laughs> Oh, good. Maroons? You mean marooned. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how you can just- Oh, you idiots! How did you do this? Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, uh, I can very well see that. Ow. Like how the- Well, yeah, thank the... you! If, if, if the death side would prove it out. <laughs> Yeah, I like how the Toe Brigade just kind of fall around in stages. <laughs> you guys are still going to jump over here. Yeah, right. Bubble bone. My bubble what? bone? What the heck <laughs> I, is that? I don't know. What the? Like, what? Truth, truth be told, we don't know the physiology of the Mario cast. Billboard. <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't actually mentioned this, but yeah, the. They gave the science like names, which is oh no, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> so uh, sentient. Yeah. So I guess they wanted to have. These... Oh, good luck doing this with your. By the way, good luck doing this with your po your pointer. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, there's a version of this that's like one of the hardest levels in the game, if not the. Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to put put a label on it, but it's, it's definitely one of the harder levels in the game. Um, but that won't be for a little while. Um. Thing. I was gonna say something, what was it? Um... Yes, Mario is handsome. Thank you for asking. <laughs> sure, we'll go, hitting... we'll go with that. Like, if you hit the rock, you, like, it, the bubble pops, right? I don't f no, I, I think... Nope. I think... It's if you hit anything sharp. Yeah. Or spin. Can no, you yeah, not spin? Uh, gr ground, yeah, I can't spin. Uh, ground pounding uh. breaks it immediately. Yeah, it's not one of these, like, motion control things, which, I think, 
I think the pointer has always been one of the better parts of the Wii motion controls, because I feel like it's one of the few thing parts of the motion controls in the Wii that works pretty much 99% of the time. So I do like that they use that to their advantage. I don't think Galaxy 2 brings this back though, which is a bit unfortunate. That's the first hidden turn blades on part of the level. Yeah. What did you say, Jason? Me making bad Mario joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, Galaxy 2, yeah, kind of streamlined a lot of stuff. Some of it was annoying. I mean, some of the stuff that they cut was annoying to begin with, but it could have been, like, improved. Oh no, I missed one! Yeah. So yeah, I think you can, if you do, like, a good, a really good trouble jump, you can just bypass this, but... Do it. Yeah, get between moving ob obstacles, it's gonna burst. Ah, <laughs> You don't do the speedrun trick that I... Eh? <laughs> I mean, I tried doing one earlier and that failed spectacularly. <laughs> I think this one's easier. It probably is, but I actually do prefer going through this uh, obstacle course, so... I just like doing because I mean, I just like the, it's just like one of the few things I know actually know how to do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, if you get caught weirdly on this wooden structure, then it is gonna pop, and you'll die because poison. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh Where? Yeah, there is something, like, we mentioned something about the, um... The, we talked a bit about the, how the life system works in this game. I do have more to say about that, but I guess we'll mention that after we finish this level first. Oh, hey, it's full board again. I keep, okay. <laughs> I keep on thinking ZR is the stomp button. Habits. So this has like the most coins we've seen in the stage so far, I think. Ah! Sorry. I hear the <laughs> jing I hear the jingle of salvation. Yes. As as twinkle, I twinkle, little star, get me the hell out of here. Yes. <laughs> oh god. That's fine. <laughs> but what's, wait, what's down there? Um. Probably a one up. Do I. Wait, what? Oh, what? How do I get over here? I think it's supposed to. I think. Oh, that's why. Do I even care? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what is that over there? I. Yeah. You're the reason why they took away branching paths in Sonic games, Harry. Well, they, they never took them away. <laughs> Why am I close to owning them? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I'm a- Okay, I don't wanna do, uh, Buri Gate, uh, Buri Base yet, because Buri I wanna- Gate? Yeah, I do wanna actually, um, highlight the music there, and I do wanna talk, uh, talk about the health system first, but... Okay, so should we do... Ghostly Galaxy or the Hungry Luma stage? And uh, we'll do Luma later. What do you think, Scrappy? I want to see Luigi. Okay. <laughs> so we get. Oh boy, here we go! Time to save my good for nothing brother. Yes. 